Hey everybody, my name is Drifter Inbound. I'm here to walk you through the updated installation process for Stalker Gamma 0.9.3.1. The guide is quick, clean, and doesn't require Discord or any prior setup. Just follow along and you'll be up and running in no time. There will be timestamps in the video so that you can follow along easier. Make sure to check the description for everything you need, everything that you will need, like programs or, and links. It's all in the description. Just go look there. I'll, I'll explain everything. Let's get started. All right, first, we need to navigate to our file explorer. We can do that by going into our start menu and typing in file and then clicking on file explorer. We are then going to navigate to the drive that we want to put gamma on and anomaly and whatever. I'm going to use my solid state drive. You can use your hard drive if you want. It works on both. I can confirm that. I've played it on both my hard drives or on both of my drives. So we're going to make two folders, one for anomaly and then one for gamma, just like that. Now click on the start thing here and we're going to type in virus. You'll click on virus and threat protection. Then we are going to click on manage settings right here where it says virus and threat protection settings. Click on that. Scroll down until you see exclusions should be the second from the bottom here. We're going to click on add or remove exclusions. It's going to ask for administrator permissions. You're going to say yes. Then we're going to hit add an exclusion folder. Navigate to the thing that we're on. So solid state drive anomaly select folder again. And then we're going to pick gamma. We're just going to do that to both of those files. Now we're done with that, you can close this. Now that we have set up exceptions for both of those files, we're gonna go ahead and download Anomaly 1.5.3. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this link here. This is the magnet link for torrenting programs. So if you are uh, following along with Deluge or Qubit Torrent, you'll want this. If you don't want to use Deluge or Qubit Torrent, you'll click on this link here. Both of these will be in the description below. So we'll click on that and I copied that magnet URL. We're going to type in Deluge, which is the torrenting software that I prefer. I'm going to launch that. Now I'm going to click on add URL. If it doesn't automatically pick it up, sometimes uh, Deluge just picks up the link from your clipboard immediately. But in this case it didn't. So I hit the plus button and then I just hit from URL because I had it copied and then we hit OK. And then it's going to say anomaly 1.5.3 full dot seven zip, which is why you need seven zip by the way. And we're going to hit add and then that's going to download anomaly 1.5.3 and while that does that we are going to need to download the gamma client and then the update which is right here the 6.7 gamma launcher so first we'll go ahead and grab the gamma client gamma rc3 you have pixel drain and media fire I'm going to be using the Mediafire link. Both links will be in the description. So click on one. It'll bring you to your web browser of choice. And it brings us to this little window here. And we're going to download Gamma RC 3.7 zip. And then it'll pop up this window. You want to click on this button so that you don't pay for anything. That's going to download the Gamma RC 3. Now I've already downloaded this, which is why it has this little one here. So I'm going to skip this for me because I already have it. But that's how you download that. And now we will need to get the 6.7 updated Gamma Launcher. And I'm also going to use the Mediafire link here. There's also a Yandex. I will have them both in the description. I'm going to click on the Mediafire link. Click on Gamma Launcher V6.7.0.0.7 zip, whatever. Wait for this to come up. We're going to hit download. I already have this one, so I'm going to cancel it. Never mind, it downloaded so fast that I couldn't. So I'm going to just delete this extra one. But yeah, you should have these three files now at the end of downloading everything that you need to. So we can close Deluge. If it says seeding, by the way, this means that the download is done. So when this says seedings, you can hit open download folder, which will bring us to the download folder because that's where I have it set to download. But if that isn't the default and you can't find it, do that. It'll take you to it. And now we're going to hit remove torrent do not check include downloaded files it will delete this file that you just downloaded just hit okay and i'll get rid of that you can close deluge you can probably just uninstall it at this point if you don't have any other use for it so we're going to head over to anomaly now we're going to right click it hit 7 zip which will also be in the description below if you are on windows 11 7 zip will be under more options just so you know so 7 zip extract files and then we're going to click 
on this little box here. Before we do that, just make sure that this little box that doesn't have anything next to it for some reason is unchecked. It will fuck up your install if it is checked. So just don't check this box. Click on these, uh, this little box here. We're gonna navigate to the solid state drive that I have put my stuff on. And now this is anomaly. So we're gonna click on anomaly. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna hit okay. And now we're gonna put that to the side and for gamma we're going to click on the rc3 7 zip extract files and we're going to do the same thing we're going to navigate to the solid state drive we're going to find gamma this time though and we're going to hit okay on gamma and then hit okay and then that'll do that now uh, go get a cup of coffee get a snack watch some youtube or whatever and we'll be back when these are done extracting their files uh, the, the windows will disappear when they're done. So if you did decide to get up and go do some stuff, if you come back and they're gone, it's, it's probably fine. All right, now that both the windows are gone, that means the extraction has been completed on both ends. So we have one more file to extract for gamma. Now this one's gonna be a little different, so play, but play. Pay close attention, please. So right click the other gamma launcher 6.7 7 zip extract files now we're going to navigate to the solid state drive then to gamma we're going to click on the grok mod pack installer right here we're going to hit okay and then we're going to hit okay and then it's going to ask if we want to replace anything we're going to say yes to all which is the second button and then wait for that and then it's going to also extract and then i will be back when that's done never mind it's fucking done so fucking now we're going to navigate to anomaly on our solid state drive so go to anomaly we will need to launch this game by itself one time so click it hit play stalker anomaly and then wait for this bitch to launch all right now we're at the stalker anomaly loading screen we can exit hit yes now the reason why we do that is because it makes some extra files that Gamma will need. So that's why we do that. So let's go over back to Gamma now. We're going to click on the Grox mod pack installer. And then we are going to go ahead and right click on Gamma launcher.exe and run as administrator. It'll ask for administrator permissions. You say yes. And now we click first install initialization. It'll bring us a error. It says cannot open instance portable. That's fine. Just hit okay. I have Skyrim. Ignore that. Click on browse. We're going to head on over to anomaly and then just highlight this folder and then just click select folder. It says default doesn't exist. We're going to use gamma. Okay. That's it. And then it's going to do that. Uh, then it's going to give us some game support thing. Hit okay here. And then it's going to say category setup. This is for like if you use Nexus or whatever. But in our particular case, we're doing what we're doing. We're going to hit do nothing. And then we're going to close the window that it popped up because it will pop up a, a, a separate browser window to help explain things for some reason. But at the end of that, you will be at this mod organizer window and it will say zero active mods. Now we close this and we're going to hit install and update gamma and then we're, we're gonna wait we're gonna do more of that waiting thing so get another fucking slice of pizza and pull up another youtube video i will be back when this is done this is probably going to be the longest time that you'll be waiting for something on the process this is the longest part so get comfy all right <clears throat> now it's gonna say instant installation complete here you can now click play let's go ahead and do that all right, now we're going to see here we have 444 active mods. I'm going to tell you right now that that is not correct. Now, the only way to verify how many mods are currently in the mod pack is by checking on their Discord. This is unfortunately unavoidable. I would recommend if you do not have a Discord account to simply ask someone who does and be like, how many mods are in this channel? because this is constantly being updated. This number is going to change. It will change. But right now, as of recording, it is 518. Now, that doesn't say 518. So to fix this, we're gonna go ahead and close this shit, uncheck force zip extraction. This is how you're gonna update Gamma in the future, by the way, if they ever add more mods. And then just hit install and update Gamma once again. And then we're gonna wait it out. All right. Now, it's uh, finished installing again. We're going to hit play now. And there we go. We have 518 mods. Now, let's see if it worked by hitting the run button. 
We're going to get the anomaly launcher here. Give it a second to process that it's been modified. Yep, there it goes. Right, and we're going to hit start. <coughs> it might take a bit for it to load. And there we have it. Stalker Gamma 0.9.3.1. And just to make sure it all goes, we're going to just hit randomize here. Start. And there we go at the loading screen here. It'll even say 0.9.3.1. And there we have it. We are now in Stalker Gamma. Pretty straightforward. But yeah, I hope that this video helped you. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you left a like, a comment, and came over to my Twitch sometime. With that said, you have a good fucking day.